What's up, y'all? This is Milk Steaming in about a minute. Purge your wand and leave your wand in a neutral position. Place your pitcher on the wand with half of the tip of the steam wand submerged under the milk and the rest of the wand showing. Not like this, not like this, like this. Position the wand so that it's about a third of the way off the side of the pitcher. Not like this, not like this, like this. Turn the wand on and you should see the milk start to rotate in a vortex-like motion and you should hear air being drawn into the milk. While this is going down, use your other hand to feel for temperature. When you magically decide you've got enough air and you want to stop stretching, just look and listen, you'll figure it out. Move your pitcher up ever so slightly until you hear that sucking sound stop. Don't go up too far or you'll give yourself way more problems than you need. When the pitcher becomes too hot to touch for more than a second or so, turn the steam wand off, purge and wipe immediately, and you're good to go. Your milk should be glossy, reflective, with no big bubbles. It should pour really smoothly, but still have enough texture in it to do something like this. Although I wouldn't recommend serving your drinks like this in the cafe unless you want all your customers to hate you. Real quick troubleshooting. If you don't see your vortex happening, your positioning is wrong. Make sure your wand is a third of the way off the side of the pitcher. That's what's gonna make it spin for you. If you turn your wand on and you don't hear any air being drawn into the milk, you need to slowly lower your pitcher until you do. If you turn your wand on and hear a huge blast of air right away, you're gonna need to move your pitcher up really quickly to stop the introduction of any excess air. But really, all of these things are non-factors if you set your pitcher up correctly from the get-go. All right, y'all, that's milk steaming in about a minute. Let me know what you think. Keep it real. Peace.